All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is my third take of this video, so um, fun. <laughs> and it's really bad pollen out today, so I apologize if I'm coughing or sniffling or anything throughout this video. But uh, let's talk about the truck. Let's talk about just kind of an end of month update thing. This is kind of, uh, I don't do end of month updates often. Often, like it takes a good topic for me to really be like, I just need to sit down and do a full monthly update on this, even though I've already done one. Um, so anyway, guys, welcome back to the channel. Everyone's having a great day today. Um, this topic is kind of a big deal, um, and I'm going to explain everything, explain our thought process, and talk about what is happening um, because this uh, this kind of started happening after Fired Autocross 2, um, and I hope that you guys can uh, listen in and understand where I'm coming from with all this. So let's get into it. As the title suggests, this thing may not be as savable as we once thought. Um, pretty much we have been playing whack-a-mole trying to chase this problem since it came home and we haven't been able to find it. Uh, every part we've checked, every ground we've checked, every wire we've checked, um, you know, every fuse, every everything we've checked has turned out to be fine. We can't figure this out. Vacuum lines, fine. Ignition coil, we replaced it and the problem was still there. Um, you know, we've checked all the wiring, injectors, uh, spark plug wires ground wires i mean we've checked everything we could everything has turned out to be fine um and we are at a very hard spot because um you know my dad who is not an idiot when he comes to cars i mean he's been around in cars his entire life just like i have and my grandfather was a mechanic and taught my dad everything so i mean you know my dad's not an idiot when it comes to cars and he knows what he's talking about um even he is stopped here which is kind of a big deal um, because my dad is usually very good with cars and this is one of those times where you know even he is like I don't know what we're doing here and I don't know what to do um, we are just at a hard spot and we are starting to look into other options um, you know my original plan B that you guys may remember from December when I first started talking about this uh, when the fire first happened um, we we're starting to move in that direction unfortunately and um, my thought on it if people are probably gonna wonder what my opinion is on it um, I'm ready to be honest, I think, you know, I, you guys have probably been able to tell I've been ready since December to make this move. And, um, you know, while I haven't pushed it, because at the end of the day, um, I'm not financially capable of, you know, doing everything that I want to do. Um, but, you know, I do have, you know, a say so when it comes to this thing. Um, for those, for some background info, um, when we got this truck, I was 16, so I was not able to have it legally titled in my name. So pretty much any decisions on where this thing goes, what happens to it, goes through my parents. Um, because they are the legal title holders of the truck. Um, because of the fact that I was 16 when we bought it, and it cost a fortune to transfer the title when I turned 18, so we just never did. Um, of course, this new car that I'll talk about in a minute, if that actually goes through, um, will be in my name. It'll be under my control. I can do whatever the heck I please with it. So, I mean, we'll talk about that later, though. Um, but we're starting to move towards parting out, scrapping the truck, and getting a new car together. We're just at a point we can't solve this. And, ever, like I said, everything we've looked at has been fine. I mean, we've, you know, I've spent, you know, 200 something dollars, you know, just to start um, out of the 1500 that I had originally as a budget for this, um, which was not even much of a budget, but all I have in terms of money to get this thing running again and get a transmission inside of it. And the dilemma is that the more I spend on trying to get this thing running again, the less I have for a transmission. And then what am I going to do if I spend, you know, all this money I have to get this thing running again, but then I can't afford a transmission. I'm still stuck. I still can't drive. I still can't drive without it, you know? And <clears throat> at the end of the day, I'm kind of in a tough spot. And um, I know it's a, it's a sore subject because, I mean, almost 1,400 people subscribe to this channel to see this truck. Um, I know that it's a you know pretty bad for me to say, but I know that the majority of people watching the channel aren't watching for this, or aren't watching for me. They're watching for this. So at the end of the day, I I, I mean it's a big change, and I know it's probably gonna upset a lot of people. But I you know I don't know what else to do, and my only options are to really hope that I can squeeze every little dollar I have to get this thing alive with a transmission again, and hope that it makes it for a little while, or be make the financially smart move and walk away as hard it is as hard as it is because it's special i've had this car for five years it was my very first car and it takes it's taking a lot out of me to really be like yeah let's move on but my patience has dwindled for years with it you guys have been able to watch that happen as time has gone on it's like every time i fix it something else breaks it's a 240,000 mile pickup truck from early from the early 2000s ford era which has never been known to be the greatest era of ford anyway 
Um, Ford really didn't get good until recently. I mean, pretty much every American company didn't start getting their act together until recently. Every modern American car we've had has been miles better in terms of quality um, than any early 2000s American car. We've owned several. I mean, this isn't the first early 2000s American car we've had. I mean, we've had multiple, you know, Dodges, Chevys, and Fords here um, from the early 2000s. And, you know, obviously, unfortunately, we didn't get to experience Chevy long enough, but um, you know, we've had Mopars and stuff throughout this house, you know, our entire life and stuff like that. Mopars, early Fords, all that stuff. And we've never had good experiences of any of our early 2000s American cars. And so, you know, we're kind of, you know, we've, we've, we've kind of figured that out. And uh, at the end of the day, I just have to make the financially smart move on whether or not this is, you know, it's time to walk away or not. Um, obviously, like I said, it's a, it's, I know it's a big deal and it's a big change, but I hope you guys can understand me as, and I will obviously, um, like I said, this is all in the motions right now. We haven't made a full decision yet, but we are very much so going that way. Um, and I really don't think there's any convincing that can be done to stop it. Um, I think really at the end of the day, this is kind of the move we're probably going to wind up going with. And uh, I just want you guys to know now that if a part out happens, if it's confirmed, I'll release a video as fast as I can on it. And I'll let you guys know what's up for grabs and how you guys can get it. Because I'm going to be picky about this because uh, I don't trust shipping companies. But I think for certain parts that are small enough to, where I can trust shipping them out, I will. But I am going to be rather picky about what is sold. And uh, I have a list going right now in my head of parts I will sell, parts I won't sell. Um, and you guys obviously will, be, will have first dibs. So um, if that happens, I'll post a video on it. You guys can come message me about it, whatever. We can figure it out, get preparations made to get these parts to you. Um, <clears throat> and that'd be that. Um, <clears throat> As, and as well as you guys, hopefully, please bear with me on this. Um, if we do make this move, this next build will be 10 times better than what we've done with this. I can guarantee it. Like I said, I plan on getting a new job after this happens as well. So I'll be able to afford not only the car, but be able to afford any level of high modification parts, you know, high end parts that I can get for these cars. You know, obviously I'm not going to buy, you know, Blitz 03s or anything like that. I'm not, I'm not, you know, rich, but, you know, be able to buy better parts from better manufacturers and, you know, make all these amazing cars you know i want to be able to do that i want to be able to have you know a car that is high quality in terms of build i don't want to have a, a car where i spend so much time researching and fabricating stuff and even though it's good quality i mean my exhaust on this truck is special and it's perfect but having other stuff is going to be kind of important as well having a new car that'll be able to, to support more power that i want um, i've been stuck with 200 horsepower since i was 16 i want to experience more um, you know, there's a lot. It's a lot of stuff in my head that tells me that if I make this move, while it may take obviously a lot for a lot of you guys who watch this channel to, you know, come to terms with and be okay with, um, that I hope you guys can trust the fact that my next car will blow this away in terms of mods and what I do with it because it's going to be, you know, everything that I want and then some. Of course, I'll talk more about that after we have confirmation that's the move we're making. But right now, keep in mind that it's just uh, in the motions. It's very likely, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. Um, and that if we make the decision to part out and scrap, you guys will be the first to know about it. You guys will have first dibs on anything before I post them on you know, places like Marketplace and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that. Um, thank you guys for being with me through that. I know it was a lot uh, and it's a big deal, but I just hope you guys can understand and bear with me on this and can understand my mindset and what we're going through with this. and. Are okay with it um, like I said it's gonna be a lot for a lot of people to maybe okay with the move but I just hope that the majority of you guys can that can you know stick with me bear with me on this and can trust the process but anyway let's talk some more lighthearted stuff why not we got we, we, I mean we kind of spent the last nine minutes on a bit of a uh, on a bit of a down subject let's talk about some good stuff um, RT2 my second channel if you guys are new and have never heard of my second channel um, It's in the community tab or not in the community tab, the channels tab as well as I put it in the description of all my videos um, You guys can go check that out. It's about tech gaming all that stuff PC stuff Retro stuff whatever you feel like when it comes to games pretty much anything that doesn't involve vlogs or cars is posted on that channel And even then I tie the two in rather constantly I do you know I did a Gran Turismo 4 let's play Gran Turismo 4 is a racing game I thought it'd be fun to tie in you know a car game on a gaming channel when I run a car channel mainly to kind of merge the two together and create this really cool kind of hybrid kind of crossover of the two channels 
um, and maybe I will as a, as a tribute to this thing when the time comes if that's the move we make do an RT2 video on Ford Racing 3 which is one of only two video games ever made that I know of that feature the sport track in it because um, I don't have the other one because I, I mean I have a Wii I just don't have the game for the Wii if anyone has a copy of Need for Speed Nitro for the Wii and wants to sell it for no next to nothing and send it to me let me know um, because uh, I fully intend on doing a tribute to sport track video now in RT2 as well as here if that's the move we actually decide to make so uh, a lot is going on with that and I will keep you guys updated as we go on with that uh, let's talk about other stuff though not on top of RT2 but go check out RT2 if you guys like gaming and tech and all that stuff um, let's talk about the Roast Tires podcast I've hinted at this multiple and multiple monthly updates and it's been in the works for almost a year or not almost a year but you know quite a bit of time a good bit of time um i remember first talking about it because i've been thinking about it since like last august i think we is when like maybe i first mentioned it um but then i didn't mention it until december because of things were starting to take shape i started plotting episodes out i started you know making decisions on what i wanted to do with the show uh and now we are this close i finished kind of the initial development stage and we are this close to beginning recording of episode one the pilot so uh stay tuned for that i'll of course make a video talking about that when it comes out um, it plans right now are just Spotify or not Spotify SoundCloud and YouTube and eventually Spotify um, But you guys will be the first to hear about it again as well on that as well uh, When that happens, but I'm this close to finishing up and I will go ahead and reveal you guys the topic of episode one Which is gonna be the RPM Act the EPA all that fun stuff and you know an anecdote for me an anecdote for me talking about You know why this is a big deal for not only me, but everybody um, I'm already, I already know I made a video on this, but I want to do a more thought out, drawn out thing where I can talk about it and it'd be fun. So stay tuned for that, guys. I'll post more about it when it happens uh, and that goes live. Um, so stick with me on this one as well. Um, you guys are hopefully going to enjoy it just as much as I am going to be making it. Um, I think to close out, let's talk quickly about the uh, social media stuff, the Discord server, the, the subreddit, the Facebook group, everything. Um, currently, right now, that is what we're doing. Um, if you guys haven't already, go check out the Discord server. It's linked in the description. And now, as of, I believe, a month or two ago, I added in the banner of my YouTube channel, you guys can get access to all of the social media pages that I have. Facebook, Instagram, subreddit, Twitter, Discord, the Facebook group, and everything. I mean, everything is there. So if you guys ever want to know where to follow me, that's a good place to look because I have every single social media page I have linked there, and you guys can go check it out, except for Wheelwell, which I'll get into later because Wheelwell is uh, something I haven't messed with in a while. So um, if you guys want to find my wheel well, I can, you know, of course, tell you guys about it later. Um, or you guys can go watch a really old video because I had, I think it was like 2017, 2018, I had tons of references to wheel well in my videos. So um, but I'm working behind the scenes on that. If you guys want to check out more of the RT podcast, RT2, and of course, all the social medias, links for those will be given throughout everywhere on the channel. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more behind the scenes stuff, check out at least the Discord server. That is where I post most frequently. And uh, I do plan on bringing back Saturday night live streams as well, um, which I know was a, which was a huge tradition on the channel for such a long time with you guys. And uh, it took a hiatus after the fire happened. So um, I, I intend to start bringing those back this weekend. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But the goal is to start eventually having subscriber nights. Um, much like we did when Among Us was like really big and popular, if you guys might remember, we did Among Us streams on the channel, um, where we have our subscribers join in on the action and we talk, cars, have fun, and uh, you know, I eventually wanted to do a uh, cool twist on a community post I made that only 8-Bitter responded to. I don't know if you guys may not have seen it, but um, kind of like, you know, what's your car, what do you drive, dream car, you know, what you do, you know, all this stuff. And eventually, like, we're going to do a live stream where we take a twist on this. So if you guys want to check out the Discord server, the link is going to be in the description below. And I will post, obviously, when we get close to that time. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys for being with me throughout this video. I know it was long. I know the first topic was a downer. But I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from here and my, my state financially and can understand the position we're in right now. And like I said, if anything happens, you guys will be first to hear about it. But... I think uh, for now, guys, that wraps up everything I wanted to talk about. Hope you all enjoyed it, at least somewhat, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Have a great rest of your week or day. Maybe I'll upload this week. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but uh, take care, guys. Have a good day.